Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to find the value of C that's going to help us complete the square. So to do this, we got to remember what exactly is completing the square. Well, completing the square is a process that we're going to use in mathematics uh, for a lot of different reasons, a lot of different applications. But the main important thing we need to understand is to complete the square, we got to have a polynomial in the form of our uh, quadratic form right here, where especially it's important that A is going to equal 1. Now the next thing we're going to do is, when completing the square, is we take a look at our b, we divide it by 2, and then we square it. And so if you look at this, my answer here, I have 9 divided by 2, and now I need to square that. Well, 9 divided by 2 is going to give you 4.5, and I really don't want to work with decimals. So I'm just going to keep this as 9 halves squared. And by applying the rules of exponents, I can determine that this is going to be 81 over 4. Now, the next thing we do is we add, you know, when completing the square, we make sure, uh, you know, we add or subtract that. But our C is going to help us determine that perfect square trinomial. So in this case, my C is going to be 81 over 4. All right, so that's just going to help us be able to complete the square. So in this problem, you just take your b divided by 2, square it, and that is going to be your c that's now, in the next step of completing the square, is going to help you create that perfect square uh, trinomial, which in this case, you now have x squared plus 9x plus 81 over 4. You can now rewrite this as a perfect square uh, binomial as x plus... Um, 9 halves squared. And there you go. That's how you uh, find the C for completing the square. Thanks.